Help is Green is all about preserving the Ganges through livelihoods. We are recycling pious temple waste, which would otherwise have been dumped into river bodies like the Ganges. So we collect these waste flowers and we convert them into incense sticks. With our technology, the flower cycling as we call it, we've been able to replace those chemicals with temple waste. There's a Czech friend of mine who was visiting me in Kanpur. I took him to the Ganges Ghat and we were sitting there. A minute later, there was a truck came in and they dumped uh, about four or five tons of temple waste in the river. And no one has done anything about it. And it's a free raw material, so that is how the idea was born. The first step is all the plastic and paper and the garland threads are weeded out. Then these flowers are segregated and sun-dried. And then they are, uh, they are pulverized into the powder used to make different charcoal-free incense and other materials. The capacity is around 12 tons per day and currently we are operating around 4.7 tons. We started with about 72,000 rupees. Uh, today we have raised around a million dollars. With that money, we've been able to set up the world's first flower cycling unit in Kanpur. We have a corporate team for about 13 people and then we employ 79 women full time. We provide them dignified, disease free livelihoods. We are aiming at employing at least 5,000 women by 2020. That is the aim that we are setting. So, Amazon Launchpad has been an inflection point for Help is Green because when we started selling incense, the kind of volumes that Amazon Launchpad brought in, we never thought of. So that really made us think of scale and how do we take this project to the next level. Every minute we sell an incense, so the, like, while we are talking, like we have like, sold about 10 to 12 incense.